Hello and welcome to my little bookish come with the internet. My name's Harriet. Today I'm going to be showing you the books that I'm going to unhaul from when I sorted out my bookshelves when I moved back into this room. I will talk through my reasoning for getting rid of them, but most of them is just because I've read them and I'm not going to reread them again. But a couple of them have got different reasons, so let's get into it. So I've literally got a whole bag full of books that I'm going to get rid of. But the first one I'm going to start with is actually the Shadow and Bone trilogy, which if you've watched my review of this, you'll know that I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was very good. But I I thought I liked these covers, but I don't like seeing them on my shelves. I think it's just the spines. Also, I crack all my spines and it doesn't always work well with metallic books like these ones. So I am going to be donating these. It's not that I didn't enjoy the series. It's just that I don't think I really like these editions. I also don't know if I'm going to be rereading it anytime soon because they're not the kind of books that I feel like I would want to reread. But yeah, I'll be giving these away. And then I've got a couple of books that I've actually never read, but I just am not going to. So we have got Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers. This isn't actually my book, it's my mum's book, and she only bought it for the front cover. I asked her if she wanted it back, if she's going to read it, and she doesn't want to either. So we're going to be getting rid of this. I don't even really know what it's about, but I've read the synopsis a couple times and I'm just not interested. So I will be getting rid of this one, and I'll also be getting rid of Elizabeth Strout's Olive again. I'm not sure if this is the first book in a series. I think it's the second or third. This was purchased for me by my mum from a charity shop. She just bought it again for the front cover, but it doesn't sound like something I'd be interested in. And as I say, I do think it's the second book in a series and I'm just not going to be reading the first one. I don't even own it. So I figured I'd get rid of these two and they can go to someone who finds them a little bit more interesting. Another book that I haven't read that I'm not going to is Humankind, A Hopeful History by Rutger Bregman. It has got stain on it, which is really annoying. That's from the sticker. And I do really like the look of this book. However, it reminds me of Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari, who has got a piece on here about it anyway. And I really didn't like that book. There were quite a few things I didn't enjoy about it. And I don't want to read a book that reminds me of that, which this one does. This is like a hopeful view on the world, I believe, which I'm already quite hopeful for many things in this world. So I don't think I need to really read about it. I'm sure someone will really enjoy this nonfiction book, but it is just not for me. I purchased it a while ago and I've just changed as a person since then, which was only a year ago. It sounds silly to say, but yeah, I just don't really want to read this. I don't really like it being on my shelves. So someone else can read it instead. I've also got Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I was going to reread this because the last time I read it was in school, but I just don't want to pick it up. I don't know what it is about it, but I think I have negative memories from reading it in school and I'm just not enthralled by it. It's not something that I think that I'm going to pick up at any point soon. And if I do, I'll probably be listening to it as an audiobook instead. So I'm going to get rid of my physical copy. I'm sure many people will find this helpful if they're in school as well. I've also got The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. My brother was getting rid of this a while ago and I thought, oh, I'll read that and I just haven't. So it's time I got rid of it. I've seen the film, so I kind of know the plot points. And while I think it'd be interesting to learn more about the main character, I just don't think I'm going to read it. The next book I'm going to get rid of is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I really liked this book, but again, I just don't think I'm going to be rereading it and I don't know if I'm going to continue with the series, so I am going to donate this edition. The writing is tiny, so that puts me off even wanting to pick it up again. Really good fantasy book, and as I say, I did really enjoy it, but I just don't see myself picking it up in the future. I've got way too many books on my shelves to read that I'm not going to have time to read a book this big again. So as much as I love it, and I'm grateful that I own it, or owned it, I should say, I will be donating this one. I think it's a really good book, so hopefully someone who appreciates it will pick it up. And this book I didn't think was very good at all. <laughs> Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I just don't need this on my shelves. I bought it, and I read it, and I'm glad that I did but I didn't really like it, so I'm going to donate that as well. I'm going to be getting rid of two translated works as well, both from Japanese. So we've got The End of the Moment We Had by Toshiki Okada and Slow Boat by Hideo Furukawa. I don't really know what these two are about, but they've been on my shelf for a while and I just haven't felt like I wanted to pick them up. I do read a fair bit of translated works. I've got a couple of Japanese fiction books on my shelves that I'd really like to read, but these ones just don't seem to be for me. Again, they were ones that my brother was getting rid of and I thought I'd read them, but I just haven't, so they can go to someone else. I'm going to be getting rid of this edition of Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. I did enjoy this book, and I think I'd enjoy it more upon rereading, but I really hate this front cover. I, I just don't like the colours. I don't like the way it looks, so I might treat myself to a nicer edition in the future and get rid of this one, but it's a really lovely children's book, and I'm sure someone will appreciate it. I've got what I believe is a non-fiction. Again, my brother was getting rid of it, and I thought I'd read it, but I just haven't, and that is Catching the Sun by Tony Parsons. 
I'm uncertain what this one is about. It looks like it is set in Thailand and something about disasters made by man and nature conspiring to shatter the tropical ideal of this island and the life of the family that lives there. It Again, I just don't think I want to read it. I haven't picked it up in the two years that I've had it, so I might as well donate it. Next up, I toyed with whether I wanted to get rid of this or not, but I haven't read it, I haven't picked it up. So someone else deserves to own it. That is Love Letters, 2000 Years of Romance. So this book was on sale in Wardstones, which is kind of the reason why I picked it up. And it's a collection of letters and poems written over the years to various people, famous or not famous. So it is nonfiction and it's just all about romance from that time. But I'm just not going to read it because I haven't so far. So this would make a really nice gift for someone if they find it at the book swap. And the last book is just a book that I got from the book swap and I'm giving it back. And that is this edition of Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I have got all of the white edition ones with the sprayed red pages. So I don't need this old one, but it was really nice to revisit the story recently. I really enjoyed my reread and to be honest, I really like these books. I know they're kind of trashy, but I love them so much. So yeah. That's the last book that I'm going to be getting rid of. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought to them. But that's everything for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!